channel hope you guys are doing well today I'm doing a little shop miss a <laughs> haul I placed not too huge of an order I spent around 45 bucks which that'll get you a long way so I did get quite a few things these are all new to me if you guys are new here I have done quite a few videos um, including miss a hauls uh, my top favorite products sort of like a hits and misses video so I'll be sure to link those below in the description box if you guys miss those and you want to check them out definitely go check it out so this is not like a true unboxing because I did already pull the wrapper off so this is what the bag looks like it just says miss a on the front and then my address is on the back and then of course they do include your um, packing slip so I just kind of went through to see if anything's missing. So the main reason I wanted to place an order is because they just came out with brand new lashes. These are the AOA Studio Premium Lashes. This is sort of their version of like the faux mink lashes that are really popular. I'm sure a lot of you have seen these lashes all over the place. So these were $1.50. Five, I believe and I think there's a total of 12 pairs but unfortunately there were three pairs that were sold out because I really want to do a try on video and a review on all of them so let me know if you guys still want to see a try on and review and I'll try each pair on to show you what they look like on the eyes I was filming this tutorial and I wanted to try a pair of lashes I just I was dying <laughs> I was waiting so patiently for my order to come today so the ones I'm wearing today are called Brianna and these are very long very wispy but yet they're really full so here's just a quick little up close of what these look like very long like these are very very long very wispy so these are in the style Brianna so the first pair here we have Olivia. I hope I'm saying that right these are very pretty, very spiky, wispy lashes. The next pair is called Shelby, and these ones are definitely a lot softer, more of a lighter pair. The next pair is called Tori. These are really, really pretty. I want to say Gia, but maybe it's Gaia, Gaia. <laughs> These ones look very dramatic, very full. The next pair is Vanessa. These are definitely very long, very, very dramatic. Melissa. And these again are definitely more on the natural side, a little bit softer. All right, we have two more pairs left. We have Jean, and these are extremely, extremely dramatic. All right, guys, and the very last pair that I have to share with you is called Carlene. Ooh. I like all the names, that's really cute. <laughs> Carlene. So definitely let me know if you guys want to see a try on video. I'll try my best to get the other three pairs that were sold out. All right, and then the last two pairs that I did order, these were on my wish list for so long. And I also really like the original, like the main AOA, AOA Studio eyelashes. So these were two that were on my wish list and oh, they look really pretty so these are called Alexis and these are definitely one of their number one selling lashes on the website I don't know they don't look as nice as I thought they would in person I'll have to try them out and see if they're any good and then the other pair here or the last pair of lashes I ordered these are called Chloe these are definitely some of my favorite lashes to wear where it has a clear band and they're very very fluffy uh, but these do look really pretty all right, so moving on to some more things. Like I mentioned, I did get two backups of my favorite beauty sponge, which is the Papa Charity Edition Wonder Blender, the teardropped one. This does come in different sizes and shapes now, but I just like the standard teardropped sponge. Now, I will say, I think they've changed it because the original one, it looks nasty. I'm sorry. I use it today to apply my foundation, but it's a very pale almost like a peachy pink color and the new one is a hot pink so I'm a little confused <laughs> I, I hope that, I hope the texture is the same it feels it feels really nice it feels really soft I will report back to you guys and let you know so to go along with my new sponge I've been wanting to try the wonder blender holder here's what the packaging looks like it does come in different colors I did get the I think that the color black 
So after you wash your sponge and you want it to dry, you just set it in here. Oh, that is so cute. This is genius. I hope it'll fit because once you expand and use these with, once you get it wet, it does get bigger. So I don't know, we'll have to see, but look how cute that is. So this does come, this stand comes in different uh, colors. All right, so there's this huge package right here. I'm gonna go ahead and open this. My scissors. Oh man, I wanna break it. <laughs> oh yes, oh I'm so excited for this. So this is the AOA Studio Perfect Finishing Pressed Powder in Translucent. So this does come in different colors, but I really wanted to try the translucent one. This is wrapped really well. I'm really impressed. You know what this reminds me of? This packaging is very similar to the e.l.f. Cosmetics Primer Infused Bronzer and Blushes. Very, very similar uh, packaging. It feels really good quality. This was only a dollar. It's just a translucent powder. Ooh, oh, that feels nice. Okay, this is very white. It feels very smooth. Um, and silky soft, but do you see the white cast on my hand? That's where I swatched it. So we'll have to, I'll have to play around with this, but feels really nice so far. I really like the compact. Oh my God, this is so cute. <laughs> this is the AOA Studio Perfect Blush. Oh my, okay. This is so deceiving because on the website, this looked humongous. <laughs> Here's just a size comparison. Here's the press translucent powder. And here's the blush. It's like a little baby. It's a very tiny baby. Look at that. I'll go ahead and swatch this. And this definitely is a matte finish. Okay. Wow. That is really pretty. So that's in the shade Mod. Mod blush. Just a nice dusty rose. And it feels like the formula feels really nice. That is a pretty color. I definitely will use this. So this is the Halo Highlighter from the AOA Studio brand. Again, something I have not tried. So it's a very pretty baby doll pink. I really like the color. Look at that. That is called Amour. So I also purchased two of the baked eyeshadows. I have not tried these yet. I do own a couple. Actually, I own, own three of the AOA Studio big highlighters in my last haul you probably have seen those so i ordered two shades and these really just jumped out at me at colors that i would wear so here is what gravel looks like i do see a little hint of like a lavender gray tone that is super pretty oh my god that is so pretty oh my goodness so that is ivy i swatched under that one there oh that is so pretty oh I am all over these colors. I am so excited for these. So these are the new Avery Studio Lumi Radiant Blushes. So I ordered two of them. And I wasn't sure, again, I'm just kind of like testing the waters on these new products. And if they're good, I might even try more shades. So the first one is called Rose Dawn. The swatches online were kind of, like I wasn't really sure what color to get. Hopefully you guys can see that. That is really pretty. So that's the shade Rose Dawn. The second shade is called Ravish. Let's see if we can get a good look at that one. Um, there's a couple of nicks around the side. That is super pretty. So there is Ravish. Yeah, Ravish. <laughs> yeah, so the top one is definitely more pinky and this is more of a coral color. All right, we have more stuff to go through. Oh my God, I'm making such a huge mess right now. It's really bad. You don't want to see the situation going on. <laughs> so they have brand new eyeshadow pencils and I'm super excited because they claim to be waterproof. They are cruelty free and vegan and they're only a dollar each. You know what, they're called XL because they're extra large and I didn't even realize that. I just seen, ooh, new eyeshadow pencils. So I bought the larger ones. Oh well, uh, hopefully they're good because there's a lot of product here. So this was the one that I was hoping could be a dupe for Continuous Almond. Yeah, it says matte mellow. So this is a matte finish. It's just a really nice nude pink. It does have kind of like a pinky tone, like a pinky peach. Oh my God, you guys. I think this will be a really good replacement for Continuous Almond because I can never find it anymore and I'm almost out. 
All right, 20 minutes later, I tell you what, they wrapped these suckers really well and I went ahead and unwrapped the rest of the makeup as well because everything was wrapped in plastic. So the next one is also a matte finish. I got a mixture of matte and then one shimmer. So this one's called Matte Taupe and I do like that they're color coded at the bottom. So that is called Matte Taupe. Oh, that is beautiful. Nice taupey brown. All right, the next one is a shimmer. So this is the only shimmer I've purchased. This is called Shimmer Noir, and this looks like a pretty like champagne type color. That is super pretty. It's got a nice sheen to it. The formula on these, just watching them on my hand, feel really good. Like the pencil isn't falling apart so far. <laughs> the only thing I'm noticing is that the bottoms are coming off, so I would definitely put a little super glue at the end. All right, the last shade I got is called Matte Night, and this is a matte charcoal gray. I've been on the hunt for a charcoal gray jumbo eyeshadow pencil like this. It's for some reason, no one likes making these. It looks black on the camera, but in person you can tell it's like a charcoal gray. So the nude one isn't budging. Oh my God, I'm really excited you guys. You don't, you don't know how excited I am for these. Wanted to get two more of the liquid lipsticks from the AWA Studio. These are the Wonder Matte Liquid Lipsticks. I love these, I've raved about them. I have quite a few from other hauls and they're really good liquid lipsticks. These were two colors that I was really dying to get. Oh my goodness. I do not own a color like this. It's a very soft powdery blue. All right, and then I wanted to try, I have not tried the AOA Studio Lip Liners and these are also cruelty free and vegan. And so I got the faded lip liner and also the faded lipstick because I didn't have the lipstick. So that looks a uh, amazing it almost has a little bit of a taupey like dead girl nude you guys all love my dead girl nudes that is really really pretty all right and then here is the lip liner really nice package they're also color coded on the end here so there is the lip liner swatch underneath the liquid lipstick so i think those two will look really nice together and also i'm curious to try this with other lipsticks this is the A Plus Charity 10 piece bamboo brush set. So there's 10 brushes. As soon as I saw this on the website, I had to order it. This was, I think, around $10.55. So this is a really cute pouch that it comes in. It's got a little tag here that says AOA Studio. That is super cute. A lot of companies sell brush guards so that after you wash your brushes, it holds the shape. So there are brush guards on the larger brushes here. So I'm going to pull this off. Oh, that is beautiful. That is so nice they do that to guard the brushes. I'm going to keep these. Don't throw these away, you guys. These are awesome to reshape your brushes after cleaning them. This is the F26. Look how adorable. I would definitely take this with me traveling. Oh my gosh, you guys. These are so soft. It looks like you get one, two, three, four, five eye brushes. Here's just a quick look if you guys are interested. So just some different eye blending brushes. I only see one blending brush. The rest are kind of like packing brushes. All right guys, so that is everything from my Miss A, Shop Miss Hay haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I'll be sure to list all the products below if you guys want to check them out for yourself. If you guys want to see a review on anything mentioned in today's video, please leave a comment below and we can chat about it. And of course, check out my other Shop Miss A videos. I've done hauls. I've done uh, reviews on the brushes. So be sure to check out those videos. If you're new here to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I post new videos every Tuesday, Friday, and sometimes on Sunday, 10 a.m. every single week. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope this video wasn't all over the place. I will see you all in the next video. Remember, Smarter Beauty is Butter Beauty. Bye, guys.